Francesca Farinetti, the man who brought the world Italy, turned 70 this year. His birthday wish? To have been born earlier. He wanted to fight fascists. This statement shocked many. It sparked debates about his views and Italy's difficult past. Farinetti's words were strong. They showed a deep desire to fight against dangerous ideologies. People argued about what he meant. But one thing was clear. History still matters. His words reminded everyone that the fight against extremism is not over. We must remember the past and learn from it. To understand Farinetti, we need to look at his life. What made him say such a thing? His journey from a small town to global success holds the answers. Farinetti's story is one of ambition, perseverance, and relentless hard work. He wasn't born rich. He built his success step by step, overcoming numerous obstacles along the way. His creation, Italy, is a grand celebration of Italian food, culture, and tradition. Today, it stands as a global empire with stores in multiple countries. His life is a testament to what you can achieve with unwavering passion and dedication. But Farinetti is more than just a successful businessman. He has a deep love for his country and its rich culture. He is also devoted to his family, cherishing every moment with them. He stands by his values, no matter the cost. His life is a mix of struggles, hard-fought battles, and glorious victories. Through it all, he has remained true to himself and his principles. He speaks his mind, even when it's controversial or unpopular. To understand his recent statement, we need to delve deeper into his life. We need to look at his family, his core values, and the experiences that have shaped his unique worldview. Farinetti's father was a partisan. He fought against fascism during World War II. This had a profound impact on young Oscar. He grew up hearing stories of bravery and sacrifice. These stories instilled in him a strong sense of justice. His father's struggle against oppression shaped Farinetti's moral compass. It taught him the difference between right and wrong. It fueled his passion for social justice. The courage his father showed during those dark times inspired him. He learned to stand up for what he believes in, even if it means standing alone. This legacy of resistance continues to guide Farinetti. It reminds him of the importance of remembering the past. It teaches him to fight against injustice wherever he finds it. Farinetti's statement about hunting fascists shocked some, but maybe it was a way of expressing his longing for a simpler time. In the past, the fight against evil seemed clearer. The call to action was easy to understand. This doesn't mean he wants violence. Instead, he might be yearning for a time when people stood up for their principles without hesitation. He sees a world where right and wrong are blurred, he misses the clarity of the past. Farinetti's statement, although rooted in a different time, reminds us to be vigilant. Extremism can rise again. We must confront intolerance and discrimination whenever we see them. Section 5. A controversial statement, sparking debate and discussion. Farinetti's words ignited a firestorm. Some condemned him. They called his words dangerous and irresponsible. Others defended his right to free speech. They saw his statement as a metaphor, a way of expressing his hatred for fascism. This controversy highlights the challenges of discussing sensitive historical issues. It reminds us that open dialogue is important, even when it's uncomfortable. Farinetti's statement, no matter how you interpret it, sparked a conversation. It made people think about fascism and the importance of fighting intolerance. 
The incident also reminds us of the power of words. People with a platform have a responsibility to use their words carefully. They must approach sensitive topics with nuance and respect. Section 6. The Complexities of Freedom of Speech Navigating Sensitive Territories Farinetti's controversial statement reignited the debate on free speech, sparking intense discussions across various platforms. Where do we draw the line between free expression and harmful rhetoric? When does free speech become hate speech and who gets to decide? Some believe Farinetti's words were an incitement to violence, crossing the boundaries of acceptable discourse. Others staunchly defend his right to express his views, even if they are deeply unpopular or controversial. This case highlights the delicate balance between protecting free expression and preventing harm to individuals and society. We need to have nuanced discussions about the limits of free speech, considering both legal and ethical perspectives. What are our responsibilities when we exercise this right? And how do we ensure it is not abused? Farinetti's statement, regardless of one's stance on its appropriateness, forces us to confront these difficult and complex questions. As we grapple with the implications of his words, we must engage in thoughtful and respectful dialogue. We must respect diverse perspectives while condemning hatred and promoting tolerance, striving for a more inclusive society. Section 7. Farinetti's Impact – A Legacy Beyond Entrepreneurship Farinetti is more than a businessman. He is a cultural commentator. He is willing to engage in controversial topics, even if it means facing criticism. This has made him a polarizing figure. People either admire him or strongly disagree with him. Love him or hate him, Farinetti makes people think. He has sparked conversations about history, politics and social responsibility. He challenges the status quo. He provokes thought. He is a unique and influential voice in Italian society. How will history remember him? Will it be for his business success or his controversial statements? Only time will tell. Section 8. Looking ahead. What's next for the Italy founder? At 70, Farinetti is still a force to be reckoned with, showing no signs of slowing down. He is not afraid to challenge conventions and spark debate often pushing boundaries in the business world. He will continue to be a topic of conversation for years to come, captivating audiences with his bold ideas. Will he explain his hunting fascists comment, which has stirred much controversy and curiosity? Or will he continue to court controversy, keeping the public and media on their toes? One thing is certain, Farinetti will always speak his mind, regardless of the consequences. His future endeavours, in business and in life, will be infused with his trademark passion and his penchant for provocation, ensuring he remains a dynamic figure. It will be fascinating to see how Farinetti uses his platform and influence to shape future discussions. Will he promote positive change? using his influence for the betterment of society? Or will he continue to stoke the flames of controversy, keeping the public engaged and divided? Only time will tell what the future holds for this complex and captivating figure as he continues to navigate the ever-changing landscape of business and public opinion. Section 9. A Final Word 